Hey, what's going on, guys? Ravi here from Mirai FX, along with Mr. Zebo. Welcome you to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. So, in this video, we'll be learning to make this fake accident effect, or you can also call this a fake car hitting effect in a very easy way. So, without any delay. Let's get started. So let us first divide this tutorial into three steps. Step 1 shooting the scene. Step 2 splitting the shot and masking the shots. And step 3 adding effects. So in the first step all you have to do is shoot a video something like this. Let me drag these videos to the right side panel so that a sequence is created. And if you can see that the first video has to be something like this there's this character here and he's just acting as if a car has hit him just like this and you should also have another shot wherein there's a car just you know passing along our scene like this so if your car or your truck is moving a bit fast or a bit slow you can always right click on your video and just change the speed or duration okay so now the first thing that i'll do is i'll go to the point where the character starts acting as if a car is hitting so at this point i'll right click on my video and just click on this add frame hold what this does is it simply you know freezes the this specific frame until the end of the video okay so now i'll click on this video and then go to the effect controls and from the opacity property that you have here I'll just click on this pen tool and start masking the character okay so it doesn't have to be really very perfect but a clean outline would do the job let me fast forward this video Once the masking is done, the default feather is 10, so I'll just set this to around 3. So now it is also important that you have a clean plate of the background that will be helpful for our effect. So I'll just drag this clean plate of our background onto our sequence and move everything to the top and put it under it. So the next thing is to take care of the car scene that we have here. So I'll just move the frame that we did a freeze frame to two layers above just like this and I'll then move the car scene to one layer above and then go to the point where our character just freezes at this point and then adjust the car shot in such a way that it has to look as if the car has hit exactly at this frame. So let me zoom in and just adjust it as if the car is hitting the character. One more frame to the left. Perfect. So now you can see that at this frame, the car just hits our character like this. Also go to the point where your car starts entering into your scene at this frame. Just click on this razor tool and cut this video here. I'll just remove the portion to the left by just tapping the delete key okay so now I'll go to this specific frame where the car starts hitting our character and I'll select my car scene that we have here and go to the effect controls and in the opacity you have this pen tool here and just mask it like this so that it just covers the outline of our character So now we mask the left side portion of the car scene here where it enters like this. Click on this timer button here for the mask path so that a keyframe is created at this point and I'll move one frame forward and just expand the mask in such a way that you know it covers the entire video just like this. So 
So now if I start playing the video, you can see that this is how the car enters our shot like this. And the last thing that is left is to animate this character here. So I'll just right click on my dot and then click on this nest. I'll just name this freeze frame. And now I'll go to the effects panel and type in transform. So you have this transform effect in the distort folder and just drag this onto your you know, nested sequence like this. Once you do that, make sure you click on this timer button here for position at the first frame and move around few frames forward until the car moves out of our scene and just change the position value such that our character moves outside our frame like this. So now if I start playing the video, this is how it's gonna look like. But this is not seeming very natural because there is no motion blur. So in order to have motion blur, I'll just uncheck this, use composition shutter angle and just increase the shutter angle value to 100 so that you can see that there's some motion blur applied to our character here. So if I start playing, this is how it's gonna look like. Perfect. But you can see that the character is, is starting to act even before the car hits him. So I'll just move one frame to the right so that it looks something like this. You can see that the mask that you have here is quite sharp. You can notice it at the shadows. So in order to fix that, I can just increase the feather to around you know, 20 like this. I hope you found this video helpful and if that's the case give us a thumbs up and if you'd like to talk with me regarding visual effects and video editing you can always reach out to me on Instagram at VFXGuyRavi. Mr. Zeebo would you like to add something? Subscribe for more tutorials. Alright so see you guys next time with another tutorial.